If you see a random tennis ball on the ground, call for help. You know, what can look less threatening than an abandoned tennis ball lying on the ground? But if you notice one while walking your dog, don't ever let your pet approach it. And don't pick it up yourself, either. An innocent-looking ball can turn out to be a homemade explosive that can seriously injure you or your dog. Before you find out how approaching a tennis ball can be a fatal mistake, click the subscribe button. After doing this, you'll get to the bright side of life where you'll find answers to all your puzzling questions. And if you want to be the first to learn about daily updates on the channel, you better ring the notification bell. So, in most cases, tennis ball bombs and other homemade explosives are found before, during, or right after the fireworks season. People pull the insides of fireworks out and put these explosive materials into common objects. Ping pong balls, pipes, and tennis balls. After that, they add a wick and, oh boy, their illegal homemade firework is ready. Some such fireworks are set off effectively. Their creators recklessly launch them into the air, and they explode. At first sight, it may seem cool. But in fact, it's downright dangerous. The problem is, some homemade bombs disguised as harmless tennis balls are left lying around on the ground. People light them, the so-called firework doesn't react, and so they think it's a dud. After all, it didn't go boom. But who knows what's happening inside these things? They can easily be smoldering on the inside. Then, after being moved around, an object that appears to be a simple tennis ball explodes. This turns tennis balls into time bombs for curious dogs and small children. Dogs love tennis balls. Upon seeing one, your pet is likely to snatch it and bring it to you. Throwing such a booby-trapped toy for your dog to fetch can have dire consequences. In 2000, a man in Portland, Oregon took his dog for a walk, never suspecting that this routine activity would end in tragedy. At some point, he spotted a tennis ball lying on the ground not far from them. The unsuspecting man picked the ball up and decided to play fetch with his dog. Shockingly, after several rounds, the ball blew up in the dog's mouth. The injuries were fatal, and the pet had to be put down immediately. Abandoned firecrackers hidden in tennis balls have been found repeatedly in different locations, from remote wooded areas to busy neighborhoods. In 2015, a man found a tennis ball bomb during his hike around a lake. Luckily, no one was injured. These homemade fireworks present a danger not only to animals, but to people as well. If such a thing goes off in somebody's hand, the chances are high that this person will lose their limb. Imagine if it's a little child, eager to explore their surroundings. A bright green tennis ball would be the first thing to attract their attention. In this case, the consequences could be fatal. This is why it's crucial to stay clear of stray and abandoned tennis balls and other suspicious objects. Try not to pick them up and forbid your kid or your dog from playing with them. Usually, you can easily identify a tennis ball bomb. It's typically a real ball wrapped with some duct tape. There's also a fuse sticking out of the package. If it's not wrapped, search for any signs indicating that the ball was cut open or tampered with. There might be a hole where a fuse used to be. Other warning signs you should pay attention to are scorch marks, tape attached to the ball, detectable seams in the places where the ball was cut, or something sticking out of the ball. If you suspect that you've found a homemade tennis ball firework, don't touch it. Stay a safe distance away from this object. Contact your local police department immediately. And make sure nobody approaches the ball while the police are on their way. Unfortunately, such fireworks can easily be made at home. On top of that, the internet is swarming with recommendations on how to create firecrackers on your own. These recipes are often incorrect and unsafe. 
But the worst thing is that people who make fireworks at home either don't know or ignore one extremely important fact. According to the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, a federal law enforcement organization, homemade fireworks can be used for personal purposes only and only on your own property. In all other cases, a person needs to have a special federal explosives license from the ATF. In addition, it's often too dangerous to handle such substances if you aren't professionally trained. Just as risky is tampering with professionally made fireworks. This can lead to serious injuries and property damage. The thing is, homemade explosives are terribly unpredictable. The smallest things like static electricity, heat, friction, or even the slightest impact can make them explode. In 2017 alone, Almost 13,000 Americans ended up in their local ER after fireworks accidents. Eight more people lost their lives. Most of these deaths happened when something went terribly wrong while setting off homemade fireworks. The people who make explosives and fireworks at home are most often young adults, teenagers, and children. It's crucial for parents to spot the warning signs of such activities in time. The signs are as follows. Children might start to behave differently. They don't want to explain what they spend their pocket money on. They begin to use electrical equipment. Parents might catch them carrying weird backpacks and bags. Parents come across such sporting items as ping pong, golf, or tennis balls. However, their child doesn't play any of these sports. As you can see from this video, these balls are used to contain explosives and chemicals. Adults find gloves and padding that can be used as protection. Unusual objects that can serve as containers should raise suspicion as well. It's important to pay attention to any plastic and metal pipes, glassware, packing tape, aluminum foil, and mixing equipment that's lying around or hidden away. Parents might notice websites about explosives open on their kid's computer. Children can also gather information from YouTube videos, chat rooms, and different social media sites. It's vital to make children and teenagers aware that their pyrotechnic activity can cost them their health and their life. What's more, it can lead to injuries for other people, small kids, and animals. And if that's not enough, then take it from me. I nearly blew my own finger off goofing around with a firecracker when I was a kid. Yep, I was a moron. Listen, there are so many better things to do with your time than making things that go boom. So, what's your attitude toward fireworks? Do you think that producing fireworks at home should be allowed? Tell us about your ideas in the comment section below, because it's important for us to know your opinion. Remember to subscribe and share this video with your friends to keep them out of harm's way. And give us a thumbs up if you always try to stay on the safe side of life.